Not again. Time to lose prestige in double rep. Again. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge where I've already said what I do about a hundred times, so you should probably know by now. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the very first nation in the very short season of Season E, the nation of East Frisia. East Frisia starts off as a peasant republic, just like Death Martian that we played a few days ago, and funnily enough, we're not in the HRE. We start off with this 222 guy who maybe didn't even really exist, and our national ideas are kind of mad to be honest, we got private efficiency and navy tradition minus one unrest army tradition decay religious unity so uh not a very good set of national ideas apart from some trade focused things and like i said season e is gonna be very short man just five nations we got east frisia here then it's england and epirus and we also got ethiopia and uh these guys eora down in australia but what do we do as east frisia well since we start off as this tiny maybe really not even a centralized nation i read that there wasn't really a centralized government in East Frisia, so that's why they're not even in the HRE. But since we start off not in the HRE, and uh, some people don't consider East Frisia to really be part of the lowlands, why not, because we don't start in the HRE, make the HRE not exist, and because we're maybe not really in the lowlands, unite the lowlands and form the Netherlands. That's right everyone, two goals for today, destroy the Holy Roman Empire and form the Netherlands. Season E baby, let's get it. And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot and if you want to see more challenges like this or more UFO videos in general definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything let's jump in as east frisia all right all right here we are as east frisia now obviously since we're not in the hre we won't really be able to expand into these guys over here so what we should really try and do is well join the hre but we need to have good relations with austria for that and they would marry us but we can't marry them we're a republic so let me start off by doing some estate stuff and trying to enter the hre no nobles baby it's peasants republic time again all right all right estate stuff done three ducat loans nice i'm sure glad i took those loans let me not rival anyone right at the start here please let me have a diplo rep guy we don't but i am gonna get this improved relations guy and uh i don't know let's improve with austria man we should be able to get it up to 103 right yeah we'll for sure be able to do that uh meanwhile let me also try and find some allies over here around me and that's not possible all righty then our first limit is a six just like most of these hre guys we do have a horse let's tell him to take a swim in the ocean right there get three more infantry regiments let's take a look at our boats seven lights is actually pretty good i am gonna tell them to protect trade in the north sea and i am gonna get an admiral right off the bat we also have three transports which i don't need so let's tell those guys to leave and uh after these guys get recruited i'm actually gonna get uh three more lights there we go i'm to wait yes of course you all know the requirements to form the dutch nation we need to conquer a bunch of stuff which is owned by burgundy's uh subjects so yeah Pain, pain every time. And just to make things even more spicy, Burgundy have allied Friesland. Who am I gonna fight? And we don't even have unique missions. And we should be good on relations with Austria, let's see. And that's right, we can join the HRE. Listen, to beat them, first you have to join them. It's not the other way around. And I've also allied Brunswick and Lüneburg, and I'm working on getting Köln, and I should be able to get them pretty soon. After that, I'll start currying favors, and honestly, I wanted to declare on Friesland first, but that's definitely not an option. So we might have to go for Utrecht here, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna spy on them. All right, so Austria here is allied to the Palatinate, which means, uh, yeah, we'll have to declare on someone which Austria would defend while being allied to every other elector. Now, a bunch of these electors have rivaled each other here, like Trier, Köln, and Mainz, but Trier are allied to the Palatinate. Of course, you know the complicated nature of the HRE relations, so, uh, we're gonna have to find a way to click this button, baby. Wait, why am I spying on Utrecht? I can't, I can't claim them. <laughs> Who do I fight? Moonster? Well, actually, yeah. Tier 2 got reform time. Let's go for Republicanist. Um, all right, man, it's been like 10 years. Uh, we can finally pop off our first war here uh, with Moonster, obviously, since I can call in. Well, why wouldn't Brandenburg join? Great, they're in debt. I waited for nothing. Whatever. Uh, starting off angry. I don't like it. Right, I'm going to peace out here just so my allies don't die. And I'm only going to take the province of Meppen and humiliate Moonster also. Can I take warps? I can. And uh, no money. But that's cool, baby. I'm satisfied. We also got a spy network on Utrecht going so I can claim this right here. And uh, now also start spying on Friesland. And then we'll move along into the Netherlands. Meanwhile, I have uh, allied Brandenburg as well. And uh, broken my alliance with Lüneburg and allied Mainz as well. I was trying to get Bohemia, but it doesn't really seem possible right now. Okay, so... So Burgundy is wrapped up in a little war with Savoy right here, and they wouldn't defend Friesland, dude. But I still don't have a claim on them, so let's just hope I can declare before these guys would start to defend again.
again or something like that. Okay, I have a claim on Gron again. Let's see. Oh, no, dude. We missed it, man. We missed it. Uh, let's wait and see if someone will occupy something in Burgundy. Nope. The war ended. Missed my opportunity. Oh, well, I guess I should have spied on them earlier. Uh, yeah. Utrecht is going to be our next target. No big deal. And yeah, let's get right on that, I guess. Dickler for Overstrict. Uh, it's just Dortmund, so I think I'll call in, yeah, like two of my boys. Yeah, seems sufficient. Dear three gov reform time. Let's take, uh, yeah, frequent elections. And we're donezo here. I think I'll be full annexing Utrecht. Not a lot of damage. Only 31 AE, so we're good here, baby. Austria didn't even ask for this back. Maybe they won't even ask for this back. We can also take a mission, expand East Frisia. There we go. And uh, now I'm also spying on Gelray. It's gonna be easy taking down Gelray, man. But then the problem is Burgundy and their family right here, along with Friesland. Now, we may be able to get around this by declaring on uh, Death Martian and making them break their alliance, but... But, uh, we'll see, man. We'll see what's up. Charles here, he is on the throne and no heir. Um... Uh yeah, why is their only ally a nation I want to fight? I swear, the AI always does this. Dude, East Frisia, kind of rich, not gonna lie. Three advisors still making money, armies up, you know, almost at force limit. I thought this nation sucked, but actually we're doing all right, more than all right. All right, it is time to get a move on here and take down Gelray. Now, of course, we can't take this province here, so I'm wondering if I should vassalize them or take this and then vassalize this. I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. A little problem we have here when fighting Gelray is their ally to Brunswick, which is my boy, so I did hire the free company in preparation for that and uh let's try and go get it baby man I, I i teched up dude and i got new units and you know morale goes down when you get new units and i got stack wiped man <laughs> i got stack wiped by these idiots oh uh, anyway i did hit admin deck five which means we can take our first idea group which is gonna be diplo all right this is done uh i think i am gonna take gilray and then uh vassalize the rest of them down in this one province here along with all their money sure they're gonna be salty about this but uh, uh we can just pay off their debt and placate them once and all is good baby now a should be slightly high yeah as expected it is quite high with some nations so it's time to chill a bit before trying to find an opportunity to fight the rest of the guys that i need to conquer who are all somehow related to burgundy but yeah now i can also ally bohemia accept that from brandenburg and i can also re-ally brunswick right here and reject that from austria i do have relations with quite a few electors right now but yeah just saxony and trier left i won't be able to ally them so we'll see what we can do here well maybe it wasn't such a good idea to declare on bohemia after all uh, it's just Austria, but wait, it's just Austria in Brunswick and Bohemia and me. Will we be able to win this? Oh, no way. Bohemia has 5k troops, dude. Uh, I'm going to have to eat the penalty here. Sad. Now, since I do have relations with so many electors already, I mean, so many, four of them, right? If I wasn't a republic, they'd probably vote for me, right? So I wonder, should we try and bring Republican tradition way down so we can become a presidential dictatorship and uh, them, uh, I don't know, flip to a monarchy? I don't know how it works exactly. Should I try and do that? I think I will try and do it. <laughs> yeah, there's no way getting around this, uh fact that Friesland and uh, Burgundy are allied because they can't fight Death Martian because they're in a trade league and I'll have to fight all of these guys. 60k troops. No, no, no. So I think I'll have to wait for this, then claim something in Wolgast so I can fight Wolgast because they're a weaker ally of uh, Friesland. So I don't know what happened here, man. I guess I know for sure Austria pewed Bohemia, but uh, I think this is it. Uh, Austria's ruler probably died. Bohemia didn't like them, so they broke free. Do they still have the CB on them? Yes, they do still still have the restoration of Union CB on them. They'll probably try and go for them again, but uh, what can we do here, man? Hmm. Saxony just got a lot stronger. Austria has also allied Trier, another nation I can't ally myself, so maybe the thing to go for here is for me to break my alliance with the Palatinate, and that might help me ally Saxony. We'll see. And then I'll just be in relations with everyone that Austria isn't, and then when I fight Austria, I'll simply occupy Trier, the Palatinate, and uh, Austria as well. Hmm. There it is. There's the Burgundian succession uh no way <laughs> the luzo <laughs> hello <laughs> that's pretty funny that's pretty funny okay uh so now if we declare on burgundy is just saluto and milan too bad my boys wouldn't help me uh yeah they'll break free but they'll also get dismantled by france now i think so let's see what happens or 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 we just hope that austria asks for the lowlands back which is this option oh the emperor favors this option okay good 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 and then all of these guys up here will pop out without you know being protected by burgundy 
Oh my god, please, Austria, pick this, baby, please. All right, this incident ends when? In like a month. So let's wait and see. And there it is. Austria did demand that the Lowlands be released. And I think Saluzzo, man, I think Saluzzo is going to be scared of Austria. And I think they're going to accept. Let's see. Saluzzo did accept. All right, all right. Listen, this is literally the best case scenario we could have gotten. Holland, Brabant, and Flanders popped out as independent nations along with Hainaut too. And I already have claims on them. And they don't have an army or allies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to declare on Brabant too if they don't have any allies. Let's wait and see. Can I declare on Brabant? I can. <laughs> Listen, you know what they say. When life gives you lemons, uh... Oh man, my A is already pretty high, dude. <laughs> I guess. I can't really do anything. Maybe it was a mistake declaring on both of these guys. I will take just Amsterdam from Holland for now. And uh, War Eps, I guess. No money. And I think I'll take just Breda from Brabant. Yeah, tier 4 got reform time, by the way. Let's take global trade power here. Yeah, easy. I love it when things work out in the end. Boom. There we go. Let's go beat up rebels and uh, feel even more powerful. And even more good news, I've also linked up with Saxony and Bohemia. So now I pretty much uh, just need to occupy Vienna, the Palatinate, and Trier. So, huh. Should I go for it while they're busy with Hungary here, man? Ah, uh, Austria is allied to Castile. How could we do this? How can we reasonably declare on one of these guys? Nah, they're still way too powerful like this. Yeah, I keep forgetting Austria's boys will come in no matter what I do. Hmm. Or actually, no, that's just a no CB thing. So Austria's boys won't come in if I do have a CB on Trier. And uh, I, sh I do have claims bordering claims. So I can spy on Cleavesburg and then Trier. Huh, let's do it then. It's also time for a second idea group, which is going to be quantity. I feel like I do need to fill the massive army to beat these guys up. Oh, I can ally France. <laughs> Why did nobody tell me that? <laughs> Let's curry favors with them, man. This is gonna be easy, yo. Easy. Easiest game of my life, in fact. All right, so I just spied on these three provinces right here. Now, if I declare on Trier and call in these boys, no, we're nowhere near as powerful enough to do this. But France would actually help me when I do have the favors. And with France, we can easily win, baby. So I say patience. Patience? Patience. Surprisingly, Burgundy is still a junior partner of Saluzzo. <laughs> Honestly, I think I should wait for France to get Elan before I declare on these guys, so it'll be a lot easier. But in the meantime, we can get into some other things like finally fighting Friesland. So let's declare for Friesland and uh, call in some of my boys, which means all of my boys. <laughs> yes. Uh. Meanwhile, Austria did also PU Hungary and Hungary, I do think, likes Austria. I finally learned where to look for the opinion. And actually, Hungary does like Austria, so they're not going to be breaking free anytime soon. And I think they are going to try and go for Bohemia again, but we'll see what happens. But Bohemia is straight up not having a good time, bro. They're bankrupt too, as uh, evidenced by this right here. <laughs> but yeah, boys, speaking of, I don't know, you 4 I hope you like the new series that we launched a few days ago, Formables. Let me know in the comments what you think. What do you like more so far? Formable? or A to Z. Or what did I call it? Nation formation? Yeah, that's what's up, baby. And we're done fighting Friesland. Let's see the damage. Hmm. Will a coalition actually form out of these guys? I think it will. They are sufficiently numbered. But uh, yeah, I think I am still going to do this. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up, man. Can we get another strong... Stop it. Get some help. Can we get another strong ally like I was saying? Hmm. No, not really. I thought of linking with someone like... Po well, we can easily do this. But yeah, that's what's up. After that massive expansion, it is time to chill big time and uh, wait for maybe the right opportunity to declare on Trier here. France would help out now, and I think I am easily going to be able to ally Poland here. Not again. I knew this was going to happen, and I still stayed allied to them. Time to lose prestige in double rep. Again. Hey, there it is. Uh, Republican tradition is debated. We need a king? Question mark? And Austria did PU Bohemia. All right, not a problem. We'll just occupy them when we fight Austria. They're automatically going to be in the war. Now, I would have been able to ally Poland if it wasn't for that uh, rejection of the call to arms by Bohemia. And now I'm pretty close. I think if I scornfully insult a rival of theirs, which is, well, Austria, let's uh, give it a go. And... Yes, now we can ally them. Awesome. There we go. Looking good, baby. Let's create some favors with them, too. And this is why Diplo Ideas is the strongest idea group in the game, man. At least for single player. You can go from an insignificant one province by our nation to, you know, super, super powerful with the help of super, super powerful allies. But yeah, man, now we just need to wait for favors with Poland and uh, trust with some other nations. Trust me, daddy. Man's, man's never been in marquee when it's shut down, eh? 
Trust me, daddy. Wait a minute. Didn't I take this? I took it, right? What happened here, man? Did I seriously not take that province, dude? Uh, okay. Was annexed by when October 1st occupied annexed. What happened here? I literally have no idea how they exist. But I guess I didn't take it, man. <laughs> I gotta go back and look at my uh, clip. Yeah, I think I am still gonna do this. Yeah, man, I just saw the clip. I did annex this province. I, I have no idea how they popped out. All right, bro, I'm at... Wait, Protestantism entrenched? No, way, it already spawned. <laughs> it did already spawn, dude. I, I missed that. I have no idea when it spawned. Kind of early, though. Two centers, too? Jesus. Either way, what I was trying to say is I got zero Republican tradition. Come on, bro, when are we going to become a monarchy here? Oh, well, all I had to do was unpause. Rise of a despot. There we go. Presidential dictatorship. Actually, a really good government form. Uh, you can get it as Milan if uh, you get Sforza with uh, low Republican tradition. Edition 2, super fun. Plus 10% where all of armies, autonomy change, absolutism. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, we gotta take this here, I'm guessing. When do we become a monarchy? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I think we can go for it here, man. If I wanted to clear on Trier, Poland and France would join, which is the people I wanted to join. And uh, we can also call in Brandenburg, Köln, and Mainz. These guys aren't that important. But yeah, we have more than 100,000 troops. They have about 60-something K. I think this should be easy as long as Poland doesn't occupy Vienna or Prague or something like that so i actually will set the capitals of the nations that i'm fighting as provinces of interest there's heidelberg there's Trier's, there's prague and there's vienna so with this everyone should transfer occupation to me and let's go ahead and declare on koblenz here and go ahead and dismantle the hre and accomplish our first goal Easy. Presidential dictatorship, baby. I think for the first time in A to Z. All right, I just got Vienna and Prague and previously Trier. It's time to go back and get Heidelberg and uh, we'll be able to click the button. Ah, I guess Burgundy joined the HRE. That's cool, I guess. Doesn't happen too often. And I've also occupied these two provinces. This one got unoccupied, but it's cool. It's cool. But boys, um, yeah, you know what they say, man. If you can't beat them, join them. Or in our case, if you can't join them, beat them. But we did join them, so if you can't beat them join them and then beat them dismantle hre boom there we go our first goal has been accomplished that's what you guys get for not having east region in the hre in 1444 man you know what it is uh yeah let's get money from these guys since i don't want to conquer anything and then we'll go back to conquering sure sure i'll help you you help me yeah i'll help you oh we have nobles now uh maybe we can give them some stuff too yeah oh yeah i suppose we should flip to protestant since we're gonna become uh, holland right but i feel like in these past few games we've always been flipping to protestant so even though it's painful stupid that we're catholic because i haven't gotten a single one of these i'll stay catholic just for you boys no you know what we never go reformed oh it, it hasn't spawned yet <laughs> okay i was about to go reformed all right so france ended their war and oh my god they took a lot out of burgundy either way let's uh let's move along with what we want huh austria has been going crazy since i dismantled the hre they've been uh, fighting people left and right dude hey now this is pretty cool uh i guess this is unique for presidential dictatorships i don't know but this is a different uh general with uh 100 tradition event not the last jousting tournament or wait no that's not it whatever it is ah a new champion at a joust right so let's see if this guy's any good uh i can't see it from here so let's check here i guess it's this guy but wait, it's actually my ruler. Oh, I read about this event, dude. Yeah, it is only for presidential dictatorships, I think. And uh, let me full annex Holland. How much less AE? I love it, baby. Right, I forgot we had Gelray. Let me annex them. I'm gonna go take care of Friesland here since we lost this province somehow. I still don't know how, but yeah, let's do it. We're still not at Admin Tech 10, by the way. So we're still about, uh, I would say, 10, 15 years off of forming the Dutch nation. Oh, yeah, I need more provinces too. Yeah, I need more provinces too. I forgot it's not just the ones... uh specifically named and there's actually reformed it popped out in nuremberg so yeah i am gonna be going reformed once this uh war is over there it is again uh is he gonna become the general again there he is what what happens if i get this again oh it's a new guy oh i like that guy i like that guy a lot six four four two yeah I'll take that, baby. Awesome. Uh, I love losing Republican tradition and gaining 100 tradition generals. <laughs> oh, this war is also over. Yeah. So give me that. Thank you. But yeah, man, now that I'm done with quantity, I'm building up my army and, uh, well, I actually already built up my army. Now I'm building 45 galleys. <laughs> right, right, right. Reformed. I almost forgot. There we go. Ah, uh, such a cool religion. Yes, I do like reformed. No, I don't. Now, what is this? <laughs> Wenzel Michel's claim to East Frisia. East Frisia offers to join the empire. What empire? What, what empire? <laughs> it's gone. Let's see what happens. In 10 days? Okay, it happens for who in 10 days? There we go, it's unpaused. What empire, bruh? Uh, I'm gonna go destroy Brabant now. 
My God, it's just war after war after war. I, I'm helping everyone out and do everything. France called me in versus Alan Son, dude. I also just declared on Liege. So what I'm going to do here is take these three provinces from Babant. I have a claim on this. So hopefully Koln gives it to me in this war because we are fighting Berg. And I'm also going to take Loon from Liege. Well, Brabant is done. Let's full annex them. Not a lot of damage. Not a lot at all. <laughs> all right, Liege should be done as well. By the way, a coalition has already formed. <laughs> Even Austria is in it. Oopsie. Jesus Christ, man. Boys, you got to chill. Okay? You know what? Since Koln's a dumbass and doesn't want to peace out, I'll peace out myself. Bye. I'm still in another war with him, by the way. All right, on second thought, maybe I should chill here. <laughs> All right, so yeah, boys, for the risk of collapsing this campaign uh, right before we're about to have our second success, I'm just gonna chill uh, until we hit Admin Tech 10 here and hope no one declares on me. Still, more of my boys calling me into their stuff. This is a risk. And my guy just died and now we're a monarchy. Uh, I got a random 444 guy. We can uh, take a uh, few no, no, we can take autocracy and we can even strengthen noble privileges and we can take centralized and uh, meritocratic and general estates and uh, yeah, looking good, man. Pass the Blasphemy Act, pass the solution of monasteries and uh, now if the HRE existed, I could have been voted... Um, you know, emperor, but it doesn't, so I can't. Of course, this is a pretty stupid thing to do since I think the military dictatorship and the peasants' republics are more fun than a regular monarchy, but, you know, I, uh, my goals are beyond your understanding. Right, maybe I shouldn't have built, uh, 50 galleys here. Let's see, um... Oh, well, money for nothing, you know what they say. When do you ever see Castile in the Balkans, I wonder? Look at their expansion, dude. Very, very strong game from Castile right here. They don't have Portugal, but, yeah. Pretty good. And we can finally take Admin Tech 10. There we go. Let's click that. And let's uh take these first and form the Dutch nation. Yes, please. We are the Netherlands. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Assert our sovereignty. Strengthen the long name thing. I can't read because it's overlapping and stuff like that. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we've also accomplished our second goal of forming the Netherlands. But yeah, there you go, man. We start off as the tiny, tiny one province minor nation of East Frisia with pretty lackluster ideas. The province is good. Sure, it is is uh, an estuary and it does produce salt but everything else about East Frisia is pretty lacking man we're not in the HRE we rarely ever form the Netherlands as East Frisia so that's why for this campaign we set out to do everything the haters thought we couldn't do as East Frisia or at least the haters thought East Frisia couldn't do and for our primary goal we wanted to dismantle the HRE because we don't start in the HRE and for our secondary goal we wanted to form the Netherlands because no one ever forms the Netherlands as East Frisia and we have accomplished both of our goals Honestly, a super fun campaign, man. Uh, East Frisia is actually pretty good once you get the ball rolling. I never really struggled for cash or for manpower this entire campaign. Lots of nice alliances, lots of fun wars. Fought a pretty strong Austria too that had Bohemia and Hungary. And uh, overall, a super, super nice way to start off season E. A very short season. We only have four more nations left and we're going to wrap it up in the next two weeks. So uh, yeah, man, looking forward to England and the other guys pretty soon. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as East Frisia in a to Z has been a success and that has been East Frisia in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk Live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more challenges like this or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.